How we doing guys? Welcome, it's Kraken here, back with Alpha 19, the Dummies Guide, the Beginner's Guide, the Survival's Guide, whatever guide you want to call it, welcome back. And we are on day number two, so we didn't find anywhere really nice to stay last night, so we just built ourselves up here, camped out on top of this roof for the night. But it did the job, we just sat here, kept quiet. And it worked out pretty well. Um, just to go through a few things that we didn't go through yesterday. Like I say, the game has got a lot of different things to learn. We spoke about the XP bar here. We're nearly all the way to get our first next point. This is our hunger and thirst bar down here, just underneath that. And when we came through the house right at the end, we did find a load of clothes. So I'm actually going to put the running shoes on because these are nice and heavy. We're going to keep hold of them, um, but we want to be able to be able to run ourselves out of situation. I'm just going to scrap some of this up. Office chairs you can wrench up as well and get mechanical parts, but I'm just going to scrap them for the lever at the moment. We can sell this old money. The nails you can make in a forge, but at the moment we don't have a forge, so we're going to keep hold of those a second. The Hunter's Journal, we didn't go through that. Do 10% more damage against Coyotes. Coyotes are a pain because they keep running off. So we're going to quickly get that one read up. Uh, what else did we get? A torch. We're going to scrap the torch. We can scrap cans. So we'll get rid of that. Clothes that have got dyes in them. You can actually just scrap them for cloth. Or you can take modify them you can actually take the die out of them and then scrap the die to make paint because we found a paintbrush last night and then still scrap them up for the other parts i have just put on a t-shirt um, and the poncho for now just so it's taking up a little less room these are modifiers for helmets so you get all the protection that you would get out of your helmet but you can make it look like this cap here or if you get a cowboy hat that's really good because that helps you against hot weather this one's really good because it helps you against cold weather so we're going to get rid of that top there for a second we don't need the coal the paintbrush i'm just going to scrap for the moment and then we've got some more feathers so we can make a few more arrows we can hear zombies walking around somewhere down there. Right, let's go rid of that. We're not going to keep hold of the paint for the second. I just wanted to quickly show you what you could do there. Right, I'm going to keep hold of this first aid bandage and move this one down just in case I start bleeding. And I think we're pretty much about there. So we're going to quickly eat up these two because our hunger is a little bit low. And we'll have a water as well while we're at it. Beautiful. And scrap that up. There we go. Right, let's get some of our frames back. If you want to know how to check out the map really quickly, you just press M. You can get it from your tab menu as well. Everything is up here. But M will just quickly get you there. So we're expecting to see somebody pretty much as soon as we get down here. I can hear them. Let's get our frames back first. Oh, lost one there in the process. Oh, there you are. Yeah, so there was a bit more room. I'm really dark again. Where are you? Come on. I think you're taking forever. Right, let's get the... Oh, beautiful. So we can't go into the trader yet. The trader does not open until just after 6 o'clock. We've got some cement and a few bits and bobs in here. Right, there's a few houses here that I want to check out. But first of all, we're going to go off and do this treasure. So, let's get cracking. Oh, hello you. Beautiful. So when you hear a rabbit like that, it usually means they're caught on something. So... We're going to quickly 
sort you out, get ourselves some more food. And I've just marked this on the map, actually, because this is Grace's. Now, we're not going to go through. We're not in nearly strong enough to go through here yet, but in the future we will be. So that'll be a great POI to go and check out. Right, here we go then. So now we need to dig up some treasure. So we need to actually make ourselves a shovel now. What am I missing? Probably plant fibers. Right. Um, move that one out of the way. And let's punch some more grass. There we go. Can we make a shovel now? Yep. So we can make a stone shovel. Stone shovels are painfully awful, but unfortunately they're the only things we have at the moment. And the buried treasure gives you quite a nice little reward. So it, we know the buried treasure is going to be somewhere in this circle here. And every 10 hits of the dirt, or every 10 parts that you dig up, will make this circle smaller, making it easier to find. Now the treasure is usually usually about two blocks deep so we've got one block here i just like to make a make a bit of a square a bit of an x sorry and just slowly head towards the middle until it goes smaller it's a good way of getting yourself some clay soil which you're going to need for your forge later on it's much better when you've got better tools and you can do this in one hit but um it's a good little way of getting XP as well right at the beginning. As you can see, we've actually got our first skill point. Did that on a zombie just after we left his left graces when we were running here. So let's quickly dig this up. Right, so there we go. It's already made circles slightly smaller. So we know the circle's now moving in that direction. I need to repair this. And let's carry on digging. Aha, uh -huh, right. So there we go. There's the chest, which has got the supplies in that we need. Now, you need to make sure you've got a way out of here nicely. So that's how small the circle got to. As you can see, this is where we started digging originally. Zombies will spawn when you close the chest. So we can come down here. We know we can get out of here nice and easily because we've just done it. Click on E. And we've got a few different things in here. So we've got ourselves another jar of honey. Very nice. Some blackstrap coffee, which is really good for mining. And some more canned food. So we can actually read that. I'm going to press R to take all of this. And that's when the zombies will spawn. When you've closed it. Now we are going to try and kill a few of these for the XP. We seem to have four here. I'm going to keep the stamina nice and high. Try and pick off the easy ones. She did get a little hit on me. Okay, this one. They're coming in for their hugs. There we go. Right, we just got... Oh, hello, I hear a dog. That doesn't sound good. Not sure where that dog is. He's going to be a dog or a wolf. Oh, he did get the old sucker punch on me. Are you done? Yeah, there's the XP. Always check the bottom right-hand corner for the XP. Right, now we're going to get out of here and get back to the trader because Jen's going to be up now. Right, here we are, back at the trader. I'm just going to clear out a few zombies I've seen walking around here. Some easy kills. I've been doing a few on the way back as well, just taking my time. 
As you can see, the XP bar is filling up nicely again. Right, let's get in here. Say hello to Jen. Close those doors. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. Good Amazing. stuff. I hope you right. like reward. What have we got here then? So we've got some first aid kits. Now these are very useful. Um, they're actually... Models of are worth a little bit more. I think we're going to take the first aid kits and keep hold of those. Cooling mesh mod we're not going to need. We've still got our coat symbol down here which keeps us protected. But no, I think we're going to definitely take that. Do you have any more jobs? Oh, we've actually got to clear nice and close. So we're going to take that because everything else is starting to get quite a distance away. So Thanks, we'll son. take that. Right, let's quickly check out your inventory. Have we got anything else here we want to sell to you? They're worth only a little bit, but we'll sell them anyway. So we're nearly up at 2,000 dukes, and we'll have a quick look at what she's actually got for sale. Military armor parts, we'll sell them just for the second, and the same with those. We can get this later on, and we'll sell the old money, so... There we go, we're over 2,000 dukes now. What have you got for sale? I can't imagine there being much. Now, she has got a beaker for sale. I'm going to buy this. Because in the experiment season, we need one of these to make a chemistry station. And sometimes they can be a pain to find. Because it's something you can only buy or find in the game. that you can't, you can't craft these, so... I'm going to buy one of those. For the sake of 500 dukes, I think it's a worthwhile investment. Lucky goggles. We'll probably find lucky goggles. Nerdy glasses are also very useful. These give you different things. So the lucky goggles give you... Make the radius that we've just dug up slightly smaller and a loot bonus. The shades give you plus one in perception. Nerdy glasses give you plus one in intellect and an XP gain of 10%. So usually I jump between the nerdy glasses and the lucky goggles, but we'll find those later on. There's different mods you can put into your tools and your weapons that are very useful. But again, we'll find those later on. Just quickly check. Chemistry station for 8,000 jukes. Now, they've got a secret sash as well, which you can put points into to find more things in this area. So, it's always worth just checking. I don't think there's anything there we're going to need. So, I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Thank you, Jen. We're encumbered. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over to our campfire here and just throw away a few of the things that we're not going to... might keep the coffee, actually. Keep the dukes here for the second. We don't need all of this. Keep our clay soil here. We Plant fibers we can get at any time. In fact, we'll take one of the foods. Put the paper in there. Bike chassis. You can go in there. Never can go in there. There we go. These buttons here in a little bit. When we get a when we get a base, which should be later on today, I'll talk about the inventory and the button I just used there. Right. Which direction are we going in? We need to head northeast. Let's make our way over in that direction to do this clear. Right, here we are, just coming up on this clear here. Now I don't believe I've ever seen this. With a caravan outside the front. This looks brand, brand new to me. But also, we've just passed this house here. This house here, this mansion, is full of bookcases. So, if you knowledge is power in this game. So, when we're a bit stronger, we'll definitely be going through there. But this is where we're here, why we're here today. So, let's just quickly check the mailbox. Because this will reset... When we start that, right, we can't go into there. Let's just have a quick look on top of this caravan. Can we get up here? I'm going to fall in there just yet, but this looks like it's the way we get into the house. So let's get this 
quest started. Now this time we just need to kill every zombie that's in here. It will come up with a little red marker for us. Now do we fall down into there maybe at the end? So there's a crack in the roof there. Hmm, maybe not the way. It's got a little bit of a moat around it. This is definitely a brand new POI. Some nice pink shorts there. Got Loza over here. Let's quickly sort you out. This is actually unlocked. Oh, hello. Get yourself in there, Kraken. Right, have we got a cooking pot? Yes, beautiful. Called it. Now we can actually cook ourselves some food. Gonna die in the backpack. Another cooking pot, okay. Bit of food. Right, this looks like everything in here, so it does look like we have to go over the top. Let's quickly eat this food and we'll scrap these cans. Right. Over we go. Now that's the way to go. There's got to be something in here. Maybe in through the water? Yeah, this is the way in. I hear a snake. Yeah, there's the snake coming through the water now. You've got to be careful with these snakes. Come on. Like Indiana Jones, I don't like snakes. Right, we got it just at the last minute. They can be a little bit tricky to hit. Harvest you up. Anything else in here? No. More stone, right? Okay, we've got some books here. More paper. Looking pot that we can't pick up. Some food. And a peas. More water. Now, water doesn't give you dysentery anymore, which is a really good thing. So we can drink this water straight off the bat, which is very useful. I'll quickly go through these. Some more canned food, which is very nice, because that's what we're going to be living off for the second. Right, there we go. Have a few of these chairs. Break the dinner table. Right, I am going to make it a little bit brighter. YouTube makes everything a lot darker, which is um, a bit of a pain. So we'll just, until we get the helmet light mod... We're just going to have to brighten it up slightly. I haven't seen any red dots yet. Oh, there he is. Spoke too soon. Been falling down from the ceiling. Oh, we hit the wall. Fatality. Oh. Beautiful. Bit of cornmeal there. Anybody hiding in there? No. Hello. And we want that car parts box. That could be very useful. Where have you gone? Look like you were following me. Got a crawler there. And Joe being a bit of an idiot there. Oh, we're going to take a smack then, get some stamina. Alright, that sorted you out. Where's this crawler gone? Come on, no legs, where are you? Jump past him. Well, be careful with these, they can be a little bit tricky to hit at times. Right. What have we got hidden in here? 
some things on the shelves. Oh, a hammer. Hammer is very useful. We can use that to upgrade like we were using our stone axe. And it will do it faster, which is good. Right, let's get into here. And what have we got? A level two stone axe. Okay, well, we'll get rid of our level one one and we'll scrap this one and we'll repair this. We're going to repair all of our items quickly. Why not? We'll even do the shovel while we're here. It only takes one stone each time. Scrap the chairs. I don't want to be too encumbered here. Quickly eat some of this canned food. And we're actually going to drink a coffee while we're at it. Scrap that up. Right, now let's carry on. We don't need the die, actually. On us at the moment. We don't need the cornmeal. We don't need the coffee seeds. Right, there we go. Let's keep on keeping on. Oh, you cheeky little shelves up here. Oh, it looks like it's a plug. It looks like it's got something hidden behind it. Let's just check. Yep, chemistry station behind it. Which has given us a fireman book and some gunpowder. Well, we're definitely going to take that. The gunpowder is no use to us at the moment. Need that later on in the game. Right. Now we need to... I think that's where the zombie fell down. Oh, we've got a few here. See the red dots appearing on the mini-map at the top. Oh, well, that didn't go to plan, did it? We've suffered an abrasion. The old tennis knee... Now that's going to take 24 minutes to heal, and we got infected. That's how easy it is to get infected. It can be literally one little scratch from a zombie. And this house is falling apart. Right, well, when you click on these, it will tell you how you can solve them and how, you can, how long it's going to take and all this information in here. So we're going to quickly take a honey just to get rid of this infection. And if we take, I think it's a first aid kit. First aid bandage or first aid kit. Well, we're actually going to use, we we'll use the first aid kit. First aid bandages can be very useful. That will help put our health up. And also that's now brought that down to five minutes. But if I start sprinting, I think that might start causing some more issues. Let's get back up here. Oh, we've got another zombie in the closet. Come on. That's the one bonus about the club, is that you can hit a lot faster. Which can be very useful. Looks like we've got ourselves some shades. Now, we're going to wear them because we're not wearing anything else. We don't need two lots of shorts. And we're already wearing running shoes. Right. I accidentally pressed D to drop those rather than S to scrap them. Right. We've got a zombie somewhere else. Myself a steroid there. We gonna we need We need a wrench. Oh, we don't need either of those. Nitrate powder or coffee powder. Nothing behind you. Door's locked. That door's unlocked. So there's the final loot. That looks like it could be a false floor. Now, how do we get into that room there? It looked like there was an area to get out there. Where is that zombie? It hasn't come up yet. shoe shelves, purse. Right, okay. That door's locked, which is a bit strange, but we're going to knock through it. Strange. Are we going to get a wrench? No, but we've got the recipe now to make coffee. A few short iron pipes. Murky water. 
some more shades. Right. Now, we haven't cleared everywhere yet, but let's jump into here. Oh, my dear Lord. Let's get out of here. Oh, zombies coming everywhere. Alright, let's get ourselves a bit of room. Let them come out one by one. Or two by two, as the case might be at the moment. We're going to struggle for stamina here. Right, luckily I killed that. Build up some stamina. Right, that's two of them dead. I see one more in there. Oh, come on over, Homer. It's your turn. So much for a nice, easy level one quest. There we go. And that has cleared everything, but we need that loot. Obviously, the rewards are very nice, but the loot is the main thing we're here for. So let's give this another go. What have we got here? Ammo pile. Some more blunderbuss ammo and some 9 mil. A big chest. Okay, chest armor we're going to wear. We've got some padded chest armor as well. This is much lighter. I'm going to scrap that. Wear the helmet. Padded leg armor. Okay, we're going to take that. We've got the blunderbuss and we've got some more 9mm and some shotgun. We are getting very heavily encumbered. I hear a dog as well. Get ourselves into this shotgun messiah. Great. Ah, oh, beautiful. So we've got now we've now got a blunderbuss. Let's get that loaded. Oh my dear lord. Right. We're bleeding out. Take the bandage. Now, I don't think they can jump on top of each other now, because I think that was half of the issue. Let's get this repaired. My God, how are we still alive? Right, blunderbuss, did you reload? No, you didn't. Oh, I've got all kinds of crazy going on here. Now, the one downside to the blunderbuss is it takes so long to reload. Wow. What an episode. So, quite fast, things can go from being quite normal to absolutely crazy. This is meant to be a tier one quest and we've had a dog horde come and find us on day number two. Now, I'm gonna take these apart because we may as well get the bones and stuff while we're here. I've got a concussion, which I think is gonna need a painkiller. Let's just have a quick look at this. Yeah, painkiller. And we've also got deep lacerations. Now, I know I need a sewing kit. Right, there we go. We actually got a lot of rotten flesh from that and a lot of bones. We need the bones to make glue. Now. Gun box. Here we go. We've got some more ammo. Perfect. Armor pocket mod. That means we can put that on any part of our armor. So we've got this piece here. Modify. Put that on, and that will open up another slot here. So in time, we'll un unlock all of these. Quickly take some food. There we go. Got a backpack over here. 
and we do not need the nitrate but we will sell those parts right now after that episode let's get back to trader gen wow what an ordeal that was we're back at the trader let's just see what jen's going to give us that was no you tier one quest don't look so good no what do you, you expect you sent me into a death trap i hope you like your reward weighted head mod no we're definitely i've just made myself a bed roll weighted head mod let's take that do you have any jobs you have nothing left close uh that's a shame that's a real shame um i haven't worked out what direction we want to go in yet do ourselves another 968 jukes we're doing okay for jukes Remember me if you need medical supplies. We're definitely going to need them if you keep sending us on trips like that. Right. Let's put anything away there that we can. Now, I was hoping to get to... Get to a small POI, if we had any, around here. To set ourselves up with somewhere as a proper base. But it's getting proper late now. We haven't actually save this waypoint here as a trader we've certainly had our fair share of zombies today and zombie dogs as well they are no joke might pick that one back up i think this wall just a little bit higher pick it all back up again in the morning let me just make ourselves a little home Right, so just getting ourselves set up here. I'm actually going to put a chest up here as well and a campfire. Just so we're set up. As we do need somewhere to go. Scrap those chairs. What's this book here? A Ranger's Guide to Archery. Craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. Okay. I will take that. Right. Uh, we're going to put you there at the end of that. And we're going to quickly... Take out this block here. Trader Joel, or Trader Jen. Seven. Upgrade that quickly. And put down our campfire. Right. There we go. Now to use the campfire, we need a cooking pot up here. You can make a few things like charred meat and what have you without having... A cooking pot but basically you need a cooking pot to make a lot of your foods now a lot of these are locked behind master chef now that is one of the skill points we've got two at the moment we're probably going to have to put one into but our hunger's okay at the moment so i'm going to leave that all the seconds i'm not quite sure where we're going to put these points yeah we'll look through the points probably Probably more tomorrow, but we are going to need to really get working on Grease Monkey so we can get that bicycle made and get a campfire made, which does mean we need to put a point into the blacksmith. So I'm actually going to do that one first. Grease Monkey takes level 2 intellect. So you've got your levels at the top of each attribute up here. Now, just by hovering over the padlocks it will tell you what level you need to go into now we can't make a bicycle properly until we've got intellect level two so in fact that's where i'm going to put that point now that unlocks that and we need one more point for them we're nearly there for that i'm going to quickly put away a few things in here bring my knife back on down now my sledgehammer modify that i'm gonna put my weighted head mod into that which will help me do more damage that's gonna be very useful we go back into here put a few things away i'm gonna put the shorts on because we're only wearing the plant fiber trousers and the rest of this i'm gonna put into here for safekeeping at the moment keep the blunderbuss ammo we don't need the torch on us the rest of this we're gonna need right guys so that's where i'm gonna leave today's episode i was hoping to get a lot more done but that poi was pretty serious we've got a deep let's make sure we're crouched down and quiet 
This meter down here shows how detectable you are. So six is nice and low. The zombies won't see us with this. This deep laceration we need to get sorted, but we can't do that until we've got... Well, we can actually do have a first aid kit. Overnight is going to take quite a bit of time. We're going to wait till we find a sewing kit because those first aid kits we're going to need. So we're going to leave that deep laceration there. So that's where I'm going to leave it for today's episode, guys. As always, a big thumbs up on the video. If you've enjoyed it, any comments, put them down below or any help that you need with. Let me know and we'll sort that out and show you in the next episode. Until next time, guys, take it easy. See you later.